Well, at last, the largest development in the history of the Missouri Botanical Garden is finally ready for you to see. Fox 2's Angela Huddy is live tonight at the Saint, South St. Louis Landmark with more on this weekend's big grand opening, Angela. Jasmine and Vic, you can be one of the first folks to visit the new Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center here at the Missouri Botanical Garden. So much thought went into designing this unique space, including something called biophilic design. And that means they're bringing the outdoor garden in with these amazing leaf inlays in the floor. These are leaves from 18 different Missouri trees, along with some rock inlay that also is supposed to kind of make it look like a riverbed. And then above us, this dappled lighting that comes in. It looks like a clearing in the forest supposed to make it feel like that anyway. It's absolutely beautiful. All of this making the space so much more than just a place to buy your tickets. Now, as you come into that front entrance here, eventually visitors will be greeted by more than 45,000 plants that reflect the global scale of the garden's work. Inside, you'll find a new auditorium, new visitor engagement center, expanded sassafras cafe, and a bigger gift shop. No more stairs or elevator rides to access the main garden. You walk straight through the center, and once out in the new South Garden, you'll find walkways to well-known landmarks. This Saturday and Sunday, the garden welcomes everyone to celebrate the grand opening of the Taylor Visitor Center. Admission is free and no advance tickets are required. We'll also have some special activities throughout the weekend. We'll have live music, theater performances, storytelling, and other children's activities. And we'll have a science and sustainability showcase as well. So some of our scientists will be here, and you can meet them and talk with them and learn about their work. The staff here at the garden got to see the place on Sunday. They were so excited. They can't wait for you to see it as well. This visitor center is all part of the a bigger, much bigger hundred million dollar campaign that was all funded by private donations. Reporting live from the Missouri Botanical Garden in South St. Louis, I'm Angela Huddy, Fox 2 News.